This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group, and the market really was led lower overall today by tech weakness. NASDAQ down another 1% today. S&Ps were down about 10 points at the end of the day, where the industrials actually were unchanged, actually a little bit up today. But the, the market really led down, again, by the likes of the semiconductors. So we saw Micron absolutely get slammed today, KLA 10 core, and then a continuation of some of the social media stocks, Facebook, Twitter, and then some of the fangs also, Amazon, Google. So some weakness there. Now, I don't particularly see this as a sector rotation going on. I really look at the, the big tech sell-off, if you want to call it right now, is taking some profits off the table from, from a sector that has just run so fast, so far, so quickly. So I, I'm not really seeing any sort of sector rotation. Overall market today, seven of the 11 S&P sectors were actually down today. And looking ahead, the market is, is obviously looking tomorrow morning to the big jobs number and then the trade issue. Is that going to be resolved? Are we going to get this next wave of tariffs on China, the $200 billion? We may know that by tomorrow morning as well. So tomorrow really uh, is set up to be a very busy, very volatile day overall. In the option market here at CME, yesterday ES options, about 600,000 options traded, 67% of them were puts. Looking at some new uh, uh, new options that traded yesterday. We saw some open interest going out all the way to December, the December 2350 and December 2650 puts. 10,000 of those traded. And then also end of month October puts, the 2700 and 2680 line, 10,000 of those traded as well. The market right now, the ES option market, expecting a move of about $25 between now and next Friday. Not tomorrow, but next Friday. Now, what all of a sudden has happened to cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin? Bitcoin futures here at the CME, we saw just a record tumble almost in, in such a short span over the last couple days. Much of it was due to the announcement that Goldman Sachs maybe was delaying, if they're going to do it at all, but delaying their entry into a, a crypto trading desk. Either that's what spooked the market or just the continued headline risk uh, of really no good news coming out in the crypto space. Volatility, which had been, I talked about this earlier in the week, had actually been fairly minimal, very low over the last couple of weeks. We obviously saw that just spike over the last couple of days. Now, we saw Bitcoin, which was just trading 7,400 just last week, trade all the way down to about the 6,200 level today before stabilizing just a little bit around 6,400. Uh, today, about 5,500 contracts traded here at the CME. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.